on the electricity grid in Europe, you will need a different array of technologies. And wave and tidal have different advantages. Tidal, if you add a bit of storage, you can have almost 24-7 generation, so non-stop. Uh, wave, on, on the other uh, hand, uh, produces electricity a long time after the wind is gone because we use the waves created by the wind and that's a very good complement for wind energy. Last year we've seen a lot of public support finally realize for both tidal and wave at European level via the Innovation Fund, Horizon Europe, the, the research programs at national level as well and we've seen in November during the, the annual conference of the sector uh, a flock of investors coming back to the sector for the first time. Uh, so we've seen very large company, electricity company, oil and gas companies uh, wanting to know more and even wanting to invest directly into projects. I think it's because the technology has progressed a lot on one hand, so there is more confidence in the fact that we can actually use water to generate electricity in a cost-effective way. And the second point is, is Putin. We have understood that price stability for gas is gone forever and you don't have energy security without price stability so this has really triggered a, a renewed understanding of the need to decarbonize not just for climate because that was already there but also for energy security. Mm -hmm.